Welcome back guys. <laughs> so we're in the shop here. I just made that little video of uh, showing you my new shop. But what we're gonna do today is some CNC work. I got a re request to make a wedding sign. I already made one, but I didn't record it. That's why there's all this stuff back here. Same person delivered it because they went to a wedding, loved it, and they ordered another one right off the bat. Um, so what we're gonna do is I got this piece of pine from Home Depot. I already sanded it flush, you know, with 220, so it's nice and smooth, and I stained it with Minwax, dark walnut. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some film on it, <clears throat> carve it, and I'm gonna do a white in paint inlay, and then we're gonna clear coat over the whole thing. Uh, bits I'm gonna be using is the quarter inch compression, eighth inch down cut. I wish I had a compression, I'll be getting one. <laughs> and then a 90 simple as that. I'm going to be using Carbide Create. That's what it's going to look like. It's going to say the Baxter's. Uh, pretty cute. But imagine a black, you know, or a uh, dark walnut and the lettering all white. Comes out pretty sharp. But what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put this masking film on. I'll leave a link in the description of where I got it on Amazon. So you can check it out. This stuff works wonderful. It doesn't peel up pieces of the um, wood, but it works really well and it sticks to it. I always had issues with other ones because it was meant to stick on smooth, shiny stuff. Wood's not smooth and shiny. <laughs> um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and apply some masking to this and we'll get to carving. I gotta lock it in, I gotta put my bed in, a lot of different stuff. So uh, once I have it all set up, we'll come back to you. Okay, so what has happened is I'm doing a V-carve, an advanced V-carve. It takes two different bits to do it. With the Shampoco, it's all automatic. But uh, with this guy, <laughs> the long mill, you have to do it manually. So I have a switch here, it turns the router on and off. And all I did was it stopped. See how it says hold? So I turn the router off. It's saying hold, and I got my retract height. If when you go to set up your um, track, your your height for the project, you know, thickness of the material, size, retract height, it's all right there in Carbide Create. And what I did was, is I have this piece of machinery. Um, it's a feeler gauge, and I got it set up to where it's exactly 0 0.09 inches thick. So that's exactly what this is set up for. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna manually grab this. I'm gonna, I can probably wheel it by hand, but I like to push it up just to help it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick it up, swap out the bit to the V bit, and it'll do the outside. So let's get that done. By the way, I've been warned. Use the wrenches instead of using the button because I've been told by numerous people that this little button right here on these Makitas break in the housing. So I just started using the wrenches. I heeded their warning. You know, you might as well. People are warning you. So you might as well take it. I gotta get this uh, dust collection figured out too because it's making a mess. <laughs> okay, so slide the V bit in there. do is we bring it down by hand and just wheel in that little pulley and I have that sticking off and I put a lot of pressure on it downward so that it's nice and accurate all the way up to the tip and you just bring it down touched 
pretty precise, otherwise it'll show up in the work. Right there. She's all set. So let's get back to uh, finishing this up. We're gonna do the V-carve on the big letters and then we'll start working on the little ones next. Okay, buttered inside. Now we're gonna be using this shellac. Not the stuff from the spray can because the spray can does not have the wax in it. The wax is what helps it seal. So what I'm gonna do is, working on the bo bottom of the can here, <laughs> but we're gonna um, just dab it in there with a foam brush, just a regular old brush, you know, and just kinda start sealing it. And I'm just gonna move this around. But once I get up close to it, I like to dab it because if, if you drag it across, you might actually pull the sticker up. And you don't wanna do that. So we're just gonna sit here and seal it up. And then uh, I'm gonna go have some lunch. When we get back, we'll spray paint it. The shellac has dried. Pardon the air cleaner in the back. I always run it while I'm spray painting. I open up a couple windows. I don't know. I'm just kind of over cautious about it. But um, okay, so our wood is sealed. We're going to go ahead and spray it with white. And then afterwards, we'll peel the sticker off and um, reveal that the black walnut underneath of there. And uh, after that, we'll spray seal the whole thing. Let's get the white on. Let's see how well this uh, soaks in. I like going in thin coats, so I'll probably coat it twice. It just seems to work better for me. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Let's uh, apply a second layer here. like it might take three coats. Like I said, the last time I messed up, I did acrylic. I don't know if I said that or not, but the last time I used acrylic paint, and um, what happened was, is on the edges and stuff, it peeled. I guess, I'm guessing because of the shellac, but it definitely, when I went to peel the sticker off, it, it peeled it away a little bit. So I'm trying to get a little bit cleaner of a look. Okay, third coat. Let's see if this does it. So I'm still seeing a little bit of wood grain, a little bit of off color. I like it to be good and white. All right, 
that should be good. It looks pretty, uh, looks pretty white now. So we'll, uh, we'll let this dry a little bit. And we'll come back in a little bit here and pull the tape. See you then. Okay, paint's had some time to dry. It's been about, uh, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes. Got the kit off the bus, so. Um, what we'll do now is we'll start peeling everything away. See what we got under there. Had a little bit of bleeding. Not terrible. I'll just go around with a Q-tip and uh, some acetone. You know, just kind of rub. Get that off. And down here, like I said, my V-bit's a little uh, dull. It's getting time to change it. And that's what happens is it doesn't carve 100%. But that's looking up super close. I think it came out pretty good all together. So uh, we'll get some clear coat on it and we'll show you the final results.